This is Dr. John H. Braccio. I'm most satisfied that you are using this CD as part of the overall program to be able to say, I'm free from smoking. Good for you. And the purpose here is for you just to relax and to use this. In itself, this could be just what you need not to smoke anymore. This could be it. I've worked with many people over the years that just hypnosis has been enough. Be that as it may, clearly this is part of your program and I want you just to relax, just want you to put yourself in a chair, be, put yourself in a comfortable setting. I just want you to relax. I want you to let all the tension go, all the frustration. Just relax. Just relax. Close your eyes. Just relax. Letting everything go. And all the time breathing in and breathing out. You're taking control. Taking control. Today is the day that you're going to be saying, I'm free from smoking. So everyone can hear it. You're just relaxing, just relaxing. Now I just want you to put your head back again. Just relax. Make sure you're relaxed. <sighs> breathing in and breathing out. Just relaxing, just relaxing. And the more you use this CD, the longer you're away from smoking, you're going to find that as you breathe in, you're going to be breathing in deeper and you're going to be in your own mind thinking of the cleansing of your lungs. Just relaxing, just relaxing. In control, in control. Just a few things here now. Often people will say, Dr. Braccio, what is trance? What is it? I say, well, trance is a state that we're often in. We don't think about it. Typical case would be for reading a book, for seeing a movie, if we're in deep thought and we might not hear someone. Even your spouse might say or a friend might call you and you don't hear them. You don't even notice them. Another one is if you've been on the highway and you're going somewhere and all of a sudden you realize you've gone two exits too far. Or have you ever gone somewhere and ended up there and don't remember how you got there? You're in trance. But when you're in trance, you're still functioning. You're still working. You're just keeping other thoughts out of your mind. And when you're in trance, you're able to deal with the unconscious, which is another question. People say, Dr. Bracho, what is the unconscious? What is the subconscious? Well, that's the totality of one's life experiences. The totality. So, these thoughts are always in your mind. So in hypnosis, the goal, transhypnosis, is to help you change the thoughts that are coming from the unconscious. Because the unconscious, being the totality of your life, is loaded with messages you might not even be aware of. But they're always there. I'll give you an example. Let's say you run into a friend. Let's say you've been in high school 15 years, 20 years. And you run into an old friend from high school. You haven't seen them since then. You can go back through the years and talk about Miss Smith, the teacher, Bucky, the whoever he was in the class, kind of drove everybody crazy. Some crazy event that happened, just like it happened yesterday. You can't believe it. And you haven't seen this person or thought of these things in so many years. Well, in trance, you're certainly able to do some changes. So the thoughts coming now for relating to the smoking will be thoughts about not smoking, about you're not going to smoke, versus... When you say, I'm not going to smoke, the thought, oh, yes, you are. Yes, I am. I'm going to smoke. No, you keep those thoughts out. Another question people will say, well, Dr. Braccio, what can bad things happen to me in trance? Well, the point is trance is nothing more than relaxation, a state of consciousness. As nothing bad can happen to you if you are just thinking in your living room to the exclusion of other thoughts, same thing. You're certainly not going to do things or think things that you really don't want to. It's just not going to happen. In fact, I believe in hypnosis, transhypnosis. The goal is to be saying things the person agrees with and trying to keep the conscious and the unconscious going the same way. So hopefully that is helpful. Now, 
Again, you're breathing in and you're breathing out deeply. Breathing out, just relaxing. Keep doing this, breathing in. And breathing out, relaxing deeply, deeply. Breathing in. Breathing out. Just in these few moments, your lungs, believe it or not, are cleaner than they were before you began doing it. Just relax, just relax. And just feel the whole body relaxing, just relaxing. You're just kind of letting go. Pressure's going. It's like after you were carrying 50 pounds somewhere. You just kind of stop and you relax and you kind of let things go. You just relax, you just relax and you're at peace. You're tranquil. Things are not bothering you. You're kind of leaving all the stress and anxiety outside. You're just relaxing and you're at peace. And you continue breathing in and breathing out. And breathing out. You can imagine breathing in peace and tranquility and breathing out tension, the tars, the nicotine, however you want to do it, doesn't really matter. You're just relaxing. And as you do this, the body's relaxing. You're at peace. You're enjoying the condition. You're enjoying it. You're just relaxing. And you're in control. Magical words, in control. And all of a sudden, from the tip of your head to the tip of your toes, you're just relaxing. Just relaxing. Just relaxing. And you're at peace. You're tranquil. You're tranquil. And all the time you're thinking, I'm free from smoking. I'm a non-smoker. These thoughts keep coming in. This is the day. This is the day. I'm free from smoking. Freedom. I'm free from smoking. And you're relaxing. And you're breathing in. And you're breathing out. You can actually almost feel the blood flow slow. You can feel the tension in the muscles just going down. You can just relax. You're at peace. Even as I say the words, it's relaxing to me. Just relaxing. Just relaxing. Just at peace. Relaxing. Just relaxing. Just at peace. Just relaxing. Just relaxing. As you relax, I'm going to count from 10 to 0. And with each count, you'll become even more relaxed, more relaxed, more relaxed, more relaxed. 10, 9, 8, just going deeper and deeper. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, Zero, drifting deeper, 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 at peace, tranquil, in control, in control, in control, satisfied, happy, doing what you have to do, in control, happy, satisfied, knowing I'm free from smoking comes to your mind as you relax. You can even think of yourself, you can look at yourself in your own mind, relaxing where you are, just there relaxing. Just relaxing. Your mind is clear. You're relaxing. And you're thinking. You're thinking of things. You're thinking to yourself, why haven't I quit smoking? You ask yourself that. Well, the point is you're not going to smoke is the key thing. You're not going to smoke. You're done smoking. And that's a good question to ask because now you're questioning the question. Before you just smoke to smoke, now you're saying, why do I smoke? To your mind, all the reasons are bad reasons. Smelly, expensive, destructive. All bad things. Bad for your heart, bad for your lungs, bad for your brain, bad for your blood cells. Bad all the way around. Now, but you're not mad. You're simply saying, I'm free from smoking. Today is the rest of your life, the beginning of the rest of your life. You're just relaxing. You're in control and you're feeling good. You're breathing in. And breathing out. And since we started doing this, your lungs are cleaner than they were. The beginning of the road back to the right, the, the pink, the right initial stage that they were in before you began your smoking. You're in control. You're taking control, taking control. 
When you look back at your life, there's so many things that you've achieved that you never even thought about. We can go all the way back. When you were in a crib, you don't remember being in a crib. The first little movements in there, you don't remember that at all. You may have seen it with your own child or with a brother or sister or heard about it or thought about it, but never thought about it with you. And then all of a sudden you began to move a little bit. Then all of a sudden you were crawling. And then all of a sudden you took that first step. You jumped up and fell down. Did that thousands of times. And finally, you might remember, probably not, going from one parent to another or to a friend. And everybody's cheering and applauding you. But then you fall a thousand times more, ten thousand times more, and finally you're able to move around. And finally you're right where you are now. You can get around very well. And you're proud of yourself. However, you never necessarily think of that. You're proud you get around to do things, but you never think of what a task that really was. Or how about sounds? From the initial crying as a baby coming into the world, to then making some sounds, maybe creating a name for one of your parents or relatives, just from a sound you made, to finally making a few little distorted sounds, putting a few words together, then telescoping, I there, meaning I want to go there, to finally putting sentences together, but you've done it. Oh yes. Oh yes. And how about writing? How about being able to distinguish a B from a D? Think about that sometime. How hard that would be knowing that the B has the little circle on the right, the D on the left, and all the things you had to learn. Oh my goodness. Putting sounds together, cursive writing, just writing, just putting things down, making sentences work, all the things with the crazy English language. You did it. You've done all these things. And also, remember this, when you were a child, and I'm sure no one did this in a negative way, hopefully, but people could put things in your mouth. Yeah, they could make you do certain things. But isn't it good as you've learned independence over your life that you determine what you're going to do more? And there's no one now that's going to say, you have to smoke. Put that smoke in your mouth. Put that cigarette in your mouth. No, those days are gone. And you now are saying, I'm free from smoking. I'm a non-smoker. And someone who's free from smoking doesn't smoke anymore. It's over. Se acabó is what you say in Spanish, or finito in Italian, or it's just plain over in good old steady English. So, good thinking, good thoughts, and just relaxing all the time, just relaxing, just at peace, just relaxing, and you're in control. You're in control. Magical words. Never forget those words. In control. In control. In control. You're just relaxing. You're breathing in. And you're breathing out. And you're just relaxing. And you're just in control. It's wonderful. In control. Magical words. Magical words. Magical words. Magical words. Now I want you to visualize yourself, and again, you can really be anywhere you want in trance hypnosis. You can hear my words or not hear them, or not pay attention, you'll clearly hear them. I want you at the top of some stairs, and the carpet is a bright red, a bright red carpet, and there's handrails on each side. And it's bright and it's nice, but you really don't see the bottom down there, but you know it's peaceful. And you know it's relaxing. And you're just thinking, I'd like to go down there a step at a time. And it's peaceful, it's safe, it's warm, it's pleasant, it's very nice. That's what I want you to do. I want you to put your hand on each handrail, left on the left handrail, right on the right handrail. And I'm going to count from 30 to 0. And with each count, you're going to go deeper and 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 deeper, and deeper into trans hypnosis. And the more you listen to this CD, the deeper you're going to be able to go. Deeper and deeper and deeper. Because it's a form of self-hypnosis. You do this to yourself. As you relax. As you relax. So 30 to 0. A step at a time. And all the time you're breathing in deeply. And breathing out. So 30. 29. 28, 27, deeper and deeper, 26, 25, 
24, step at a time, 23, 22, 21, 20, you're doing good, you're feeling good, 19, 18, 17, 16, 16, deeper and deeper, 15, 14, 13, 12, breathing in deeply, and breathing out, relaxing, relaxing, 11, 10, just deeper and deeper, nine, so light, so at peace, eight, seven, six, five, in control, in control, three, two, one, zero. If you missed one, it wouldn't matter. If you missed a four, you missed an eight, you missed nine, you're just going deeper and deeper and you're relaxing. And in trans hypnosis, anything can be happening, peaceful. But you can go from here to there. It really doesn't matter. You can listen to me or not listen to me. It really doesn't matter, but you're at peace. And now you're at the bottom. It's a, it's a room. It's a nice room. It's a peaceful room. There are nice pictures. There's some animals, some cats, some dogs, some tigers. It's peaceful. There's some nice scenes there. Yeah, there's some lighthouse scenes. Yeah, there's yeah, there's some nice things there. It's peaceful. It's peaceful. Some bridges, some just nice things to look at. It's a nice room. And there's a desk. Yes, there's a nice desk. And I want you to go over there and I want you to sit down. And again, if you're somewhere else, that's fine. And I'm going to be making some affirmations, some statements that you do agree with. Based on your being where you are now, in this state of transhypnosis and listening, and taking part in the process. And at the table, there's paper, okay, with pencil or a pen. There's a computer. Okay, there's even a typewriter for the old guard. And you can use any of these to write down the statements that I'm going to be making, the affirmations. Or you can just close your eyes, or keep your eyes open for that matter while you're sitting there, and just absorb the statements. Just absorb them. And you can do this differently each time you hear these statements, these affirmations. And these are the reprogramming for the computer, if you will. Because in many ways, the unconscious is analogous to a computer where all these thoughts are in they just kind of come out they're programmed this is new programming and the more you hear this the more these statements will come forward because they're what you want to come forward when you say I'm free from smoking you want that to come forward from your unconscious from the computer you don't want to say rubbish I want to smoke or I'm gonna smoke I need to smoke no you want everything going the same way. So these statements or similar statements will be in your unconscious. So let's begin. Okay? Number one. Today, I begin my life being able to forcefully and enthusiastically say, I'm free from smoking. Again, today, I begin my life being able to to forcefully and enthusiastically say, I'm free from smoking. Two, I'm taking control of an aspect of my life that I want out of it. No more smoking. I'm free from smoking. Again, I'm taking control of an aspect of my life that I want out. No more smoking. I'm free from smoking. Number three, I'm done smoking. It's as simple as that. I'm done smoking. I'm free from smoking. Again, I'm done smoking. It's as simple as that. I'm done smoking. 
I'm free from smoking. Number four, I will regularly think of the reasons I wrote down as to why I quit. Whatever they may be, health, costs, social health of children, whatever, really doesn't matter. I'm free from smoking. I'm free from smoking. I'm free from smoking. And whatever the reasons be, health costs, social health of children, whatever. I'm free from smoking. I'm free from smoking. Number five. I'm stopping smoking by my choice. There are people who love and care for me who want me to stop smoking, but it's my choice. I'm done smoking. I'm free from smoking. Again. I'm stopping smoking by my choice. There are people who love and care for me who want me to stop smoking, but it's my choice. I'm done smoking. I'm free from smoking. Number six. I want to be as healthy as I can be and not to choose to slowly and horribly suffocate myself. That is not a choice I choose to make. I'm done smoking. I'm free from smoking. Again, I want to be as healthy as I can be and not to choose to slowly and horribly suffocate myself. That is not a choice I choose to make. I'm done smoking. I'm free from smoking. Number seven. Whatever I have seen and felt smoking to be for me a friend, anxiety inhibitor, stress reducer, social enhancer, or whatever. It's time to stop and I will. It's time to let go forever. I'm done smoking. It's over. I'm free from smoking. Again, whatever I have seen and felt smoking to be for me a friend, anxiety inhibitor, stress reducer, social enhancer, or whatever. It's time to stop and I will. It's time to let go forever. I'm done smoking. It's over. I'm free from smoking. Number eight. As I deeply breathe in and out, I can visualize my lungs being cleansed and getting back to their natural healthy pink state. I breathe in and I breathe out clean air. No more carbon monoxide to slowly poison and kill my body. No more cyanide to kill me like a rat. I've had it. I'm done smoking. I'm free from smoking. Again, as I deeply breathe in and out, I can visualize my lungs being cleansed and getting back to their natural healthy pink state. I breathe in and breathe out clean air. No more carbon monoxide to slowly poison and kill my body. No more cyanide to kill me like a rat. I've had it. I've had it. I'm done smoking. I'm free from smoking. Number nine. I choose not to die a premature and often ghastly smoker's death. I'm going to have you do number nine again. I think I crackled my chair. So oh, okay, okay. Number nine. I choose not to die a premature and often ghastly smoker's death. I'm free from smoking. I'm free from smoking. Number nine. Again, I choose not to die a premature and often ghastly smoker's death. I'm free from smoking. Number ten. Today, because I no longer smoke, my self-esteem seems like the mightiest of eagles soaring in the air as I do not smoke and declare myself to be free from smoking, to declare I'm free from smoking. Like the mightiest of eagles do I say, I'm free from smoking, soaring in the air, soaring in the air, the image of an eagle. Soaring in the air, breathing in fresh 
air soaring up and down, up and down. That's how my self-esteem feels. I'm free from smoking. I'm free from smoking. I'm free from smoking. These are the thoughts to keep in your mind. These thoughts. Not just the last one, even though the self-esteem becomes so powerful in a positive way. What better than soaring in the air like an eagle? Just think of that. There you are, a non-smoker, free from smoking. For all the costs, all the attempts, you're now free from smoking. Very good. And remember, even though others want you to stop, you've stopped because of you, not because of someone else. Not because of someone else. They may have influenced you, but you've done it because that's what you want. Well, now, I want you, I'm going to count from 10 to 0, and with each count, you're going to go deeper and deeper into trance hypnosis, even deeper than you are now, just relaxing and just becoming so ready to hear things, positive things, things to help you as you go further and further on the road to being free from smoking, saying, I'm free from smoking, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, deeper and deeper. Four, three, two, one, zero. Deeper, deeper, deeper. Now, I'd like you to visualize yourself. Yeah, I'd like you to visualize yourself just outside. Could be on a shore. Could be anywhere you want to be. Could be near a lake. Could be in the woods. It could be in a backyard, it could be anywhere, it could be on a deck. Any place that you really are comfortable, a place you've wanted to be but you haven't gone, it can be anywhere, it really doesn't matter. But I just want you to be thinking about things, thinking about the success in your life just by quitting smoking, what it actually means, what it's done for you. Just relaxing, just thinking, just thinking and realizing you've certainly put off anything like the horrible and ghastly type death. You're not suffocating yourself. No, you're not. You're not doing that with the carbon monoxide. You're not slowly killing yourself with the cyanide. You're not doing any of those things now because you're just free from smoking. This is very positive. And all the time, breathing in and breathing out. And wherever you are right now, whether it's on a shore, whether it's on a deck, whether it's where you are right now, the point being you can visualize yourself shortly after the day that you first heard this CD. And in trans hypnosis, you can do as you desire. So you can actually go through a full day in your life, zooming through it, just a few days after you first heard this CD. And what's the first thing you notice? No smoking. Another thing you notice. You're noticing that your lungs are getting cleaner. Oh, yes, you do. Let's zoom into the future a little further, a couple months into the future. What do you see? Maybe 30 days, and then 60 days. We'll do both right now. Look at each. No, no smoking either day. But look at those lungs after 30 days. Oh, my goodness, they're looking cleaner. Redder, the cilia just going crazy, and a rub a dub a dub 60 days, oh, my goodness, even better. Now, let's zoom way into the future. Four, five, six, seven months. Same thing, a day at a time. Oh my, you see exactly the same thing. Clean, clean lungs. Cleaner. By the sixth month, my goodness, look how pink, look how clean. By the seventh, my goodness, they look totally clean. And now look many, 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 many years, maybe decades into the future. Grandchildren, life, going through things, and you're healthy. Look at you. Probably wouldn't have lived that long, but you did. And those lungs are clean and you smile. You remember. You remember back. You were in the program. I'm free from smoking. What it's meant to you. But what you did. Because you knew whatever Dr. Braccio might have thought, might have said, whatever anyone else might have ever said. It was you who made the decision not to smoke. And be proud of yourself. And just relax as you take control. Breathing in. And breathing out in control. And these thoughts keep coming to your mind. The fact that you're forcefully and enthusiastically saying, I'm free from smoking. 
You're taking control of your life. No more smoking. You're done smoking. Yes, done smoking. Thinking of reasons why you quit smoking. The health, costs, social, children, whatever it might be. Your choice. Your choice. Your choice. Be as healthy as you want to be. Just relaxing. Just relaxing. Just relaxing. Realizing whatever your reasons were for smoking, they're gone, not needed. You're done. And you're breathing in and you're breathing out. Cleansing, cleansing your lungs. And all the time, breathing in and breathing out. And thinking back to those days so many years ago, when your parents, when people could put things in your mouth. Oh yes, those days are gone. No, those days are gone. Not that they did bad things. But you had to eat what they gave you. You had to do what they wanted you to do. Now, you are free. Hallelujah. Free. And you're free from smoking. No more. No more. You'll watch your diet to make sure that you don't put on too much weight. You'll make sure that you're not going to have the hooks in there. You're going you're gonna to retire once and for all, Mr. Nicotine and Mr. and Mrs. Nicotine, that come forth and say, oh, just have a puff. Remember, one puff can certainly knock you down, land you on your rump. You don't want that. No. Nope. Remember the statement, one puff is clearly too many, and thousands would never be enough of cigarettes. Remember that. Remember that. Slight adaptation from the AA. But in control, you're going to watch, you're going to be healthy. You're going to stay away from situations and environments that can cause you to smoke. If being in a bar or being somewhere where the alcohol is bad, you're not going to do that. No, you've just made a decision not to do that. You're going to really back off and make sure you're in control. If having that coffee in the morning with the newspaper, if that's the time that you've smoked, no, you're not going to do that. You'll walk. You'll do something. You'll eat some oatmeal. You'll put something in its place. No, you won't do that. If being with certain people tends to trigger the smoking. You're not going to be with them, certainly until you can control those feelings. No, you're taking control. Taking control. Magical words. Taking control. Soaring like an eagle. Or if you remember, the predator, the magnificent tiger that's kicking out all thoughts in relation to smoking. No, taking control and proud. And these thoughts keep coming to your mind. You're still relaxing and you're in control. In control. Magical words in control. You're saying, I'm free from smoking. I made the decision. I'm free from smoking. I'm controlling what I do. I'm free from smoking. Making sure you control the antecedents to make sure you place yourself away from situations where you could begin smoking. Remember, alcoholics don't go to bars to show that they can deal with drinking. People that love Baskin-Robbins ice cream and obese do not sit in Baskin-Robbins parlors to show that they will not eat the ice cream. And you clearly do not go to environments that are stressful and can lead to smoking for you. Absolutely not. So you're able to say, I'm free from smoking. I'm free from smoking. And all the time, breathing in and breathing out, cleansing those lungs visualizing into the future. And in the future, when you listen to this CD, it could be years from now, you'll be looking back on some of these things. But you'll go to bed relaxing, knowing with a smile on your face that you're a non-smoker. You can say, I'm free from smoking. Now, if you hear this CD during the day, you're going to feel very relaxed. Additionally, you're going to know you're done with smoking. Yes, and when you quit listening, turn it off, you'll open your eyes, ready to do whatever you have to do with a lot of energy, ready to go. If it's late at night and you're ready to go to bed, you'll go to bed very relaxed. In both cases, of course, knowing you're a non-smoker. So again, I just want you to relax. Take it easy. Take it easy. Take it easy. Let's come out gradually from where we are right now. Yes, you're going to be coming back, coming back, coming back. And remember, these thoughts will keep coming to your mind. And I feel very fortunate that you've had the confidence to take part in this trans-hypnosis, self-hypnosis 
process. As part of the program, I'm free from smoking. Remember, you did it. Others have helped you. I may have helped you. But ultimately, you did it. So let's go back to those stairs. Those stairs. Remember? With the bright red carpet. Now you can see at the top there's light. Nice. It's peaceful. Right where you were when you were coming down. And what we're going to do, we're going to go to the top. And then you're going to turn around. Kind of just um, relax. Just turn around in terms of look around where you are. There, peaceful. Wherever that might be. You'll open your eyes shortly thereafter. And wherever you are, that's where you're going to be. And you'll open your eyes refreshed, relaxed. If it's late at night, you're going to go to bed and you're going to sleep well. If it's during the day, you open your eyes refreshed, relaxed, knowing that you're going to be having a good day. And in either situation, you are smoke-free. You're free from smoking. You can say, I'm free from smoking. So again, I'm going to go from 0 to 30. Put your hands on the rails. Left on the left rail. Right on the right rail. And just slowly and peacefully kind of ascend, actually. We'll just call it 30. I'm free from smoking. 29. I'm free from smoking. 28. I choose not to die a premature and often ghastly smoker's death. 27. 26. 25. I'm free from smoking. 24. 23. Like a mighty eagle soaring in the air. Self-esteem in place. I'm free from smoking. 22, 21, 20. Like the mighty tiger, the predator, kicking out any smoking concepts, just going and controlling and dominating and killing smoking thoughts. Yes, the mighty tiger. 19, 18, I'm free from smoking. 17, 16, think of the comparisons, the analogies right here, what we're talking about. Just think what we're talking about, comparing you to the mighty eagle up in the air, in control, breathing in that highly charged air up in the air there, like the eagles are, soaring, and then the mighty tiger on the ground, making sure those thoughts don't come in getting rid of the old unconscious negative thoughts, putting great fear into Mr. Nicotine and Mr. and Mrs. Nicotine as they try to come and mess in your life. Rubbish. It's over. You can say, I'm free from smoking. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. I'm free from smoking. 9, Eight, seven, I'm very proud of myself, very proud, very proud of what I've done. I'm a non-smoker. I'm free from smoking. Six, five, four, three. So happy you've had confidence to take part in this program with me. Glad to be part, a guide, helping you, an educator, trying to help you as you do it and take control. We'll go to three, two, one. You're there at peace, able to say, I'm free from smoking. All set. You have a good voice. Oh, thank you. So good. Okay, wow, that worked out pretty well, didn't it? Yeah, it did. How much time did we do on that, by the way?